Hey, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today we're gonna to talk about how to make some easy DIY kids masks. You can find more information about this tutorial on DIYDanielle.com. So the first thing you need to start with is two pieces of cotton fabric right sides together. These are five inches tall by seven and a half inches wide. Go all the way around and leave a small area to turn and top stitch on one of the short sides. As you can see, these ones have already been sewn. And once you're finished sewing them and you have your gap left, you are going to trim the corners just like this. At this point, you wanna turn them right sides out so you can press them. Press, and then you are going to start making your pleats. For this kid's mask, you are going to make two pleats, and what you do is you fold it down like this, and you can press it like that, and then pin it, and you wanna make two pleats total. So once you have your pleats created, you can press them so that way it'll hold it down a little. You're probably going to want to pin as well, but I like pressing. It just helps um, make it a little bit nicer. So I'm going to throw a couple pins in here and on this side. And as you can see, I'm using one clip for each section to hold both pleats because it is a smaller mask. Now I'm just going to repeat that with this one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch right down on each side with a straight stitch. That'll close up the gap we left and it will also um, hold those pleats in place on the sides. Now the pleats in the middle will open up so that they go around your child's nose and his chin um, when it's fully open to wear. Okay, so as you can see, I sewed the sides and around the top and bottom. You probably can skip these if you want. Um, but it makes sense to just top stitch. So I've got these two and you're noticing right now that I'm missing a band to go around their ears or neck. Now, I do not like the ears. My son's ears are really small, especially my three-year-olds, and I feel like they don't really stay on. My mask, my personal mask goes around my head and it goes around my neck and it's an elastic. This is my adult mask and I used fold over elastic for this and it is a closed loop. So I put this around my head like this. So as you can see, I can take it on and off and it doesn't irritate my ears because it's over them and goes around the back of my head. And when I am not using it, I can lay it around my neck like this so it won't get lost. Now, the problem with this for a child and for an adult really is that, guys, shh. The problem with this for an adult or a child is that it is a choking hazard. What I would suggest and what I'm gonna show you how to do is I'm gonna show you how to add um, snaps or elastic, or snaps or Velcro for this. And this should take care of any safety issues. Okay, so this is fold over elastic, and this is actually stuff that you'd use for underwear, this particular one. I had purchased it for this reason, and I've been using them on masks instead. But it's a little bit thinner, and it folds over like this if you were to sew it on. Um, the reason I like it is because unlike bias tape, it's probably not going to fray on me. And um, again, stretchy, it's, it's nice. So for this particular mask, I added um, my, let's see, what I did is I sewed up a strip of this by, or this, um, fold over elastic on the top and I have one on the bottom and it's sewn along one side and one side that finishes the edge because those edges weren't finished like this. So then I took this other raw edge I folded it over and I added a snap. 
and then I added the opposite snap on this side so it can snap on and off around his neck and around his head. The elastic size, you need to measure where the bands will go. One goes around the neck and you want that to be a little bit on the looser end and you want this to be a little tighter that goes around the back of the head. So let's say my son Tristan is 11 inches from the back, like around where this starts to around the back of his head on the, around the other side. I would need to make sure it was this length plus the um, pretty much, so you don't want it to be a full 11 inches because these stretch. So you want it to be a little bit tight so it's snug. If it was 11 inches exactly, it would probably fall off. So you want to be able to stretch it out to 11 inches without it being too tight. So what you do is you just take your elastic and different elastic stretches different ways. So you kind of have to be careful not to just use <laughs> like just a certain size thinking it'll work. You want to kind of experiment with it. So you can pull it to the length. So you're 11 inches, you can pull it to the length and think about whether it'd be comfortable on you if it was that tight. So for the Velcro, we're going to do the same thing. This is your hook and loop. So you could probably use some stick on. Um, you're gonna wanna fold this over. I just don't like having a raw edge. So I'm gonna fold this over and I'm gonna cut a piece of hook and loop that'll fit. And then I'm gonna cut one side for this and one size for this. Now, one side of your elastic, you could sew down or even sew inside before you close your seam up. I did not do that, um, but you could also do Velcro on either side so that they could pull it off on either side. So, so I made two straps and <laughs> hold on buddy, I gotta finish your thing, you gotta finish your mask. So as you can see, I added hook to one side and loop to the other side. They're not gonna attach to each other, I just added them so that you didn't, people don't mix up which one to cross over. Okay, so this shorter piece is for this section. And of course, I want to sew this on this end, or I could use double Velcro, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna sew the end of this on here and the sew the end of this on here. And um, I'm gonna tuck it behind. Now these are reversible technically. You can definitely just reverse it, um, but whatever side, you know, whatever you have on that side will show. So what you may want to do and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold over the raw edge so it doesn't show when I sew it on. And then I'm like the Velcro, I'm sewing a little X. I'm sewing a box around it and I'm sewing a little X through the middle just to stabilize it. So, cause it will get a lot of wear and tear. Okay, so as you can see, this is the front, assuming you were on the John Deere side. That is the top. You can see this is a little bit longer. And as you can see, I folded it over and just sewed it down on this side and this side for the bottom. So there we go. Do you like it? Do you like it? You like it? Oh, good. Okay, so we can put it like this and then Oh, wow, that is a cool, hold on, let me fix it though. Technically, you want this this way a little bit more, but as you can see, he can see. <laughs> and it's on. And how old is he? And he's two and a half. He's more than Whoa. two and a half, he's almost three. Wow, big guy. This one's a little longer because the other one was a little hard to get over his head. Not a big deal because they do on snap and on Velcro, but those are two different ways to do your kids masks. So they are easy to come off and aren't maybe as prone to choking them if they get it caught on something. Okay, so as you can see, the top one has double snaps, um, a snap on each side and top and bottom. And this one has the Velcro. And here you are, pictures of him wearing it and what it looks like. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. Please check out my blog post on this on DIYDanielle.com and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.